Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you everything about the ocean in Unreal Engine 5. How we can make an island in the ocean so whenever we throw something in the ocean it will flow on the waves and on the water, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, you can see I have an empty scene, nothing in it, it's just some lights. And now I'm going to go to plugin and in here search for water, okay? And enable these two plugin and after that go to land mass and enable this plugin as well so you need three plugin landmass water and water extra just enable all of them after that restart your unreal engine and after that you can go here and go to landscape mode and when you go to landscape mode you can see it give us uh, some option in here and uh, just enable edit layers in here i did talk about it in my first video of this playlist in detail what these options are but right now enable edit layer and choose whatever material that you want from the starter content right now i just search for m rock sandstone and you can create that as well so after that hit create in here and you can see it create a landscape for us you can see the landscape in the outliner and you can see the layer in here it creates a layer for us and in this layer what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this ad and search for water okay and you can see there's a lot of them right now i want to talk about ocean so drag and drop the ocean in your scene and now you can see uh, it creates a very beautiful ocean for us and this island is here for us right so what is changed it will add a water brush manager for uh, changing the water and there is a water body ocean and water zone water zone okay these all three uh, component that unreal engine create to manage this ocean right and in left hand side when i when we are in landscape mode you can see there is a brush manager in here as well we can rename it to whatever we want header to on it and if you can rename it here i want to call it ocean with island or just ocean okay so now we know that this is ocean and it's a good idea to uh, head f2 on the layer and tell it that uh, this layer is for the ocean so this layer has the ocean in it right now if we go to select mode in here and click on water body ocean in here you can see there is a spline in here that we can change the shape of our island so for example if i click on this uh point of this spline i can bring it out and now you can see all island is no bigger let's just click on that as well make it a little bit bigger maybe from this side we want to bring it inside like this so the first problem that you may see is that when you get outside of the landscape it will show us a something like a error so you can see this is our landscape this uh a black area darker area in the water right so we shouldn't get out of that if you want always you can make your landscape landscape very much bigger how, how much big you want right so let's just create our island right so now we have a simple island and if we go here and add a player start in here player start and i want to put it here for example let's just play and now you can see we have an island that has ocean on it right so you can see we can go into the water as well and everything look cool right so no let us talk about other options so for example in here you can see this dent in here right i don't know if you can see it or not but if i go up and you can see it right this is because um we have a layer of landscape and after that layer of island and ocean right there is two layer in here and if we click on our water body ocean and go down in here and go to train go to water high map setting and in here you can choose the option of the blend mode how this landscape with this island with the ocean should blend together so if you change it to additive nothing change but if you change it to mean you can see we did get rid of the uh, the problem right and there is other option as well for example if i click in here and um, click on max it will between two landscape it will get the bigger one right so what i want to do i want to use additive in here and this way it will add to both of them so uh, if we, it will add two layer together now with that let's just see how we can uh, increase these waves or make it more calm right again if we click on water body ocean and in filter make sure that you are clicking on all and if you go down in here in the in the wave section wave source you can in the wave section wave source just expand it expand the wave source asset double click in here it will give us this ocean right our ocean is using this asset for the waves and uh, for example in here we can change the number of waves to for example two okay and now you can see um, the number of waves is changed and if we increase that you can see <laughs> it will 
it's not ideal to do that so you can see it mess up our scene let's just again uh, put two or one and play with some uh, smaller values and you can see we can create an ocean that we want with the waves that we want let's just change the seed you should play with this stuff so you will understand what 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 they are uh, next thing is the randomness you can increase that to for example 0.5 and it will add a randomness to it to make it a little bit uh, realistic again minimum wave length and maximum wave wavelength you can see the waves in here so if i increase these two now you can see the waves are bigger now the wa the wavelength are bigger so if i save this and put it uh, in here and go to our scene now you can see the waves are the waves are bigger so again let's just go back here and we have the fall off age if we increase that I, I think we can see it better so again let's just save that and now you can see the waves okay the wave is much bigger now just look at it play with it and you will learn a lot by uh, just changing these values uh, there is a minimum amplitude at maximum altitude so we can increase that like these both of them should be increased so uh, with that we shouldn't have for example uh, a small a small size of waves and big size waves so that won't be realistic so these two values should be a little bit close together no with that we have a really big waves right <laughs> and some of them is not uh, realistic but uh, i think it looks cool if you play with these values uh, you will get what you want for sure so again there is a, a wind that we can uh, give it some wind so for example in here i add wind in 54 degree and if i save it we will see it in here as well it's like a wind going through these waves okay uh, that's 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 just really cool and if you put something in these waves it will react to it so no let's just close this and let me tell you another thing if you go if you click on your water body ocean again and go to the rendering filter in here go up and you can see there is a water material if you click on this to find that water material let's just double click on it and in here we have a lot of options for over water uh, i can just enable all of them and show you all this stuff but it's it will take a lot of time to show you all of these just use just change things in here you will get a lot of cool stuff it, because this is a material in sense we can get it here okay and now let's just increase the size of these and go down and for example we want to change the color if i click in here now i can change the color to red for example and you can see now we have a red ocean right it's it's really cool it's really cool so again we can change it to whatever color that we want like blue just hit okay so now with that we did change the uh, color of the ocean but you can see there is a lot of option in this material just play with them and you will get what you want believe me so now we have a water how we can put something in it so it won't sink so now before we go to put something in this ocean let's just change the waves in here click on uh, water body ocean and go down change the wave i want to bring back everything in this wave in this ocean so now we have a, a little bit calm uh, ocean right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a blueprint class of type of actor doesn't matter they'll click on it to open it and what i want to do in here i want to i want to add a static mesh in here or a skeletal mesh doesn't matter and add it to add it as a default scene root this is important this static mesh or a skeletal mesh should be a default scene root so click on it and choose a cube for example or whatever you want and in here what is important is that you tell it to simulate physics and give it a mass so for example 100 kilogram right so now everything is cool with this cube but there is another thing that we should do in here and that is adding buoyancy to here okay when you add the buoyancy you should do some things after that in the buoyancy buoyancy data add add a pontoons in here okay and inside that give it some value like 20 right so it will float from this value from this relative value so if we compile and so now with that let's just bring out our cube in here let's just put it in here now with that the our cube is in here let's just right click and play from here and now you can see our cube is floating over ocean and it will uh, float over the waves as well so uh, waves affected so that was it guys for this video i hope you like this video and and please if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye